Hey everybody, it's April 14th. We planted these chestnuts on February 24th or 5th. I think this is day 50 since they've been planted. Say their average height is 16, 18 inches. We talked about the experiment on which tube produces the best growth. And to be honest with you, I think it's all pretty much equal. This is the containers. And then this was the D pots, D 40 L's. And then the tree pots are deep back here. All of them pretty much equal. Of course, we're gonna notice that these are start gonna have limited growth if I don't take care of something soon because they're gonna get root bound. Now something I'm just observing here, I've had some flies that were in soil that I left here over the season. And it looks like there's some dead flies. Can you see those? I don't know if they're flying. They're dead. Doesn't seem like they're being har harming the plants at all. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So those all came out good. That was all in the potting mix from miracle Grow. Let me show you what happens when you use cheap soil that you've used over from a previous season. This was from Walmart. It was Gardener's Expert, I think. I've always shown you the success. Here we can show you just struggling. Everything basically got hit with damping off. And a few are struggling to grow. I've talked with some of you about how to solve dampening off. You just ignore it. You do nothing. You don't water the soil. You don't do anything. And eventually, some plants overcome it. And this one has overcome it. Here are persimmons. I got tons of persimmons this year. This is a pot, a group, just doing terribly. Now we can look back here at oaks, English oaks, English white oak. Got some basil plants, zinnias, got a zinnia getting ready to bloom. Can't wait to see that. Got a little lettuce starting right down in here in these rows. Got some tomatoes and some McDonald's cups. Some persimmons that I potted up a little earlier. Marigold, cilantro, snapdragon. Snapdragon doing a little better. And... Got a little bit of wilting back here because it's been a few days I've been working. Haven't been here to water. So tomatoes are struggling just a little. We'll get them watered and make them happy. I've shown you my watering system before. I have a panel that breaks off all the water off of PEX. Uh, and I basically wired it up so that I have a hose in the basement. And it's always on, and I just turn it on right here, and I water a large amount or a little amount. Anyway, I'm going to get to watering, and I'll get back to you. A little drippy sound of watering. Making the floor a mess. This will dry out. I'll get it all cleaned up when we tear this down. Everything's nice and watered. That's what we got going on day 50 in the growing room. We've been selling some seedlings. That's been a lot of fun. Sharing what we've been growing with some local people. Good luck with all those seedlings, those of you that purchased them. If you ever have any questions, reach out to me. Folks, some of you have mentioned you've had buried channels, and uh, if you haven't taken a moment to subscribe, 
we'd uh, love if you did that. We could share our love for plants and especially chestnuts with lots of other people. So if you haven't done a subscription and you like what we put out, I'd appreciate it. That helps us grow our channel, reach more people. So I appreciate it. Thanks very much. Remember, get out there. If you ain't growing, you're dying. We'll see you next time.